Well, these are the Adi Nut Cheerios. Um, I don't know, I just picked them at the first time and I've never eat any other cereals here. So these are the ones to go. These are really good. I'm gonna have breakfast and get back to you really soon and continue the vlog because I feel like it today. This is the last time you're gonna see me in this apartment because I'm moving out. I'm moving out tomorrow because I'm traveling tomorrow to Boston. Then I'm taking a flight to Charlotte and then after that I'll tell you later in the vlogs as well. And that's about it. I'm getting food. It's already 6. I haven't eaten anything all day. Today I just had a peanut butter sandwich which was it. My bags are packed. Uh, there are like there's a suitcase and there's a backpack which I'm taking. And I'm not liking it at all. Like it, what it's been a month since I'm here and I have to move out again. This is such a pain in the ass when you're traveling so much. Anyway, I'll stop complaining and go get food. That's the house I live in. So do you see the top floor? That the staircase thing? Oh, that's what I live yeah, It's a nice place to live. Like the view is nice, the light is nice, apartment is nice. Except for the fact that the... What do you call it? Except for the fact that the room is small a little bit. That's it. That's the only complaining factor. But why am I even complaining? Like there's a bathroom in there and I feel like in big cities, these kind of apartments are this size, like you can't really complain about them. Since I lived in Lafayette, the room was bigger there. I feel like um, I was spoiled a little bit. When I just kept the camera, I felt like I complained too much in these videos. Um, I shouldn't do that. Like, why do I... What is there to complain about? Anyway, I don't know why I do that. I guess that's just like... Alright, I have my food. It's from Wong's Kitchen. Wong's Kitchen is my favorite place to eat here. It's like a Vietnamese place. They have some great pho, uh, fried rice, some other stuff. It's just like really good. The hot and sour soup. It's exactly like the soup which we get in India and it's exactly the same price which we pay in India so that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna eat. I'm really hungry. I'm at the brown space now uh, so I'm just gonna eat and work on something because I didn't feel like staying at home anymore. I was really bored of that whole place. Come on. I think I forgot to show you the brown space, the prime space which me and Risha work in where two other startups other than Bradley works at and I think it's high time because I'm also leaving tomorrow. I have a whole day of travel. I have, a, I have two cab rides, one train ride and three flights to switch. Yeah, that's a lot of travel. All right, I'm going to show you the prime space really quick. I'm going the wrong way. Wait, let me let me switch really quick okay we are here all right so this is the entry or this is what you call the starting point of the whole prime space it's a really long one like it goes Without a warning, but I like it. 
I don't know. It's just the whole building length is the prime space. There's so if this is the entry door, there's a kitchen right behind me. There's a fridge there, and if you want to keep some stuff, you can keep it. There's a kitchen with sink, and if you want to like, there's two ovens if you want to uh, heat up your food if you have lunch. Uh, not everybody brings their lunch, and everybody eats out most of the times. So yeah. This is Debbie's space. She is the one who handles everything here, like what do you call it? all the paperwork and all of that stuff. That's her office right there. If you look behind me, that's there. There's one startup who's working there. The company's called Finest. If I'm not wrong, yes, Finest. If I'm not pronouncing it wrong, there's a water cooler right here. If you can look at it, there's a coffee coffee machine. There's a small fridge. There's a big fridge right outside, but there's a small fridge right here as well. It's just very handy. There are a couple of Red Bulls, apple juice, and a co coconut water in there. Somebody has left the food as well. Uh, nothing in the freezer. So yes, this is not the normal coffee machine, but the Keurig cup coffee machine. So fun fact about Keurig cups, I'm not sure if you know that, but the inventor of Keurig cups, the single use coffee cups, he is very sad about it. Because Keurig cups are only one time, you can use it only one time and after that time you have to throw it out and that is creating a lot of pollution, the plastic pollution because they are made of plastics. There are solutions to that, you can buy a filter which fits in the Keurig cup machine and you can pour ground coffee and then make coffee. So it just makes like normal black coffee, there is no uh, special thing about it. I don't know why they had it, I think it's better to have a cappuccino machine it's just i don't really understand why they have that all right if you move in a little bit this is the conference room a right behind me uh, pretty clean there's a monitor right here if you want to talk to somebody if you want to see something there's a presentation going on there's a monitor there's a computer right here if you want to attach that to that that works fine okay if you move a little bit backward this is the main space where we sit usually. So this is where Adam sits. Adam is working on a company called Pangea. Uh, they have a bunch of people like 11, 12 people on the whole team, which is amazing. So this right behind me is the whole prime space. There's a foosball table, exactly like friends. Yeah, there's a foosball table. Um, I played like once on that when I was getting bored. You can sit here and work, you can sit there and work. There's a couch if you want to lay down a little bit and then relax. Uh, bulletin board to put all of this stuff here. And the best part about the whole sp the space is the windows. Do you see the windows behind me? Yeah, that shows the Brown Engineering Lab. Like if you look here, all of these are the Brown Engineering Lab. Pretty cool, right? Like, I like this space more because, as as you might have seen right now, that there are no windows here. Like, nothing looks outside. So when you're working, you feel a lot. You don't have much to see. At that time, this is perfect because you can see outside and see people working. See, if there's something going on. Um, the first day I came, the first thing which I noticed was that there's a vending machine in the engineering lab which sells like small circuit boards batteries and all of that stuff instead of coke and pepsi and chips and that i think that's pretty cool i'm right, moving on a little bit into the two other conference rooms so right now i'm sitting here with my monitor and there is a external monitor with my laptop and there's an external monitor uh this is the conference room number two if you look at it there's a smart TV here. I watched a couple of my videos in, there you go. Yeah, it's it's really nice. And if you'll walk again, there is a conference room number three. I was sitting here initially because there was a meeting in conference number two, and that's why the brown bag with my food is there. So this is what it looks like. And that's about it. If you go downstairs, there are washrooms and this is the prime space which we have been working in. 
it's nice the conference room 2 also has windows which overlooks the engineering lab if i walk a little bit like this and this is the incubator space of brown i'm i'm a little hungry so i'm gonna grab the leftovers i had fried rice today so i'm gonna eat those and get back to work Okay. Are you happy? I'm happy. I'm gonna see you in a while.